For a town its size, Nafplu is brimming with wonders. With impressive castles built atop clifftops or resting lazily in the sea, magnificent architecture that narrates the town's glorious past as the first capital of Greece, and surrounded by gorgeous countryside dotted with orange groves, century-old vineyards and sun-drenched ancient ruins, Nafplu is one of the best places to visit in Greece. Welcome to Nafplio, the first capital of the Greek independent state. Nafplio is one of the quaintest seaside towns in Greece. It is also one of the most popular as a day trip from Athens. However, we would suggest that you don't spend just one day trip here in Nafplio, but a couple of days to see and enjoy everything that it has to offer. The architecture in Nafplio dates back to several points in time and it works like a visual reminder of the country's various stages in history. As with most towns in Greece, the new part of Nafplio town isn't as appealing as the old town. Except for the old railway station, the pedestrianized Vasileos Kostandinou Street and a few buildings such as the one that now houses a branch of the National Gallery there is not much to admire in the new town. Built in 1708, the Land Gate is what roughly divides the new from the old town in Nafplio. The true magic lies in the old town, and this is where you should also stay during your trip to Nafplio to make the most of those unique old charm vibes. You will find Nafplio's most picturesque narrow alleys in the upper part of the old town, under the shadow of Akronafplia Castle. Strolling around this part of the town is one of the most romantic things to do in Nafplio. Hidden in plain sight in one of those narrow streets, the church of Agios Spiridonas is where Ioannis Kapodistrias was assassinated. Ioannis Kapodistrias was the first head of state of independent Greece and he is considered the founder of modern Greece. <laughs> Nafplio Old Town is home to beautiful squares, with the shiny Constitution Square being the most lively among them. There are also a handful of museums in Nafplio such as the Archaeological Museum, the War Museum and the Komboloi Museum. While in Nafplio Old Town, you can go shopping or sit in one of many cafes and restaurants to indulge in non-stop people watching. Whatever you do, Make time to enjoy an ice cream or three at Nafplio's best ice cream shops. Our personal favorite is Antica Gelateria di Roma. Owned and run by Italians, this place not only serves the best gelato in Nafplio, but also takes you on a trip to Italy once you step inside. For a more Greek take on ice cream, head to Kustenis instead. For many, the ultimate highlight of Nafplio is a walk along the seafront. No matter what season you visit, the views of Burzi Fortress are breathtaking. Built by the Venetians in 1473, Burzi is that sea fortress you see on most Nafplio postcards. From 1833 to 1913, Burzi was the residence of the executioners who carried out executions in Palamidi Castle. Some of the best things to see in Nafplio 
are the town's magnificent hilltop castles. Palamede Castle is the top thing to see in Nafplio. It is a beautiful fortress built atop a dramatic rock overlooking the sea. Throughout the centuries, Palamede Castle changed hands many times. From the Venetians, it went to the Ottomans, then back to the Venetians, then back to the Ottomans, before the Greeks took it. The greatest hero of the Greek War for Independence, Theodoros Kolokotronis, was imprisoned here for almost a year. One of the best things to see in Nafplio is Palamede Castle, this one. However, there is another castle built on a hill in Nafplio, and this is Akronafplia Castle. Akronafplia Castle is older and not so well preserved. The reason why it's not so well preserved is Palamede Castle, because when they built Palamede Castle, they abandoned the older Akronafplia Castle. Nowadays, there is not much to see in Akronafplia Castle. However, it is the ideal place to go for a long walk with fantastic views of Burzi, Palamidi and Nafplio town. Our personal favorite thing to do in Nafplio is to walk the beautiful seaside path that leads to Arvanitia beach. This is among the most scenic strolls you can enjoy not only in Nafplio, but in the entire country. It's a very short and easy walk, ideal for everyone. However, if you're in the mood for a longer hike, you can continue walking until you reach Karathona beach. One of the best things to do in Nafplio is to hike along the scenic path that leads from Arvanitia beach to Karathona beach. These are two beaches that you can reach easily on foot from Nafplio town. Karathona is a long sandy beach. In the summer it is very popular and this is why it is packed with sunbeds and umbrellas. Off season, however, it is a fantastic place to relax. It takes less than an hour to hike from Arvanitia to Karathona beach. Halfway along the path you come across another beach which is called Neraki. Once in Karathona you can continue walking until you reach the church of Agios Nikolaos. One of the things we love about Nafplio is that it's the perfect base from where to explore the surrounding towns and the countryside. Less than an hour's drive from Nafplio, you can find world-renowned archaeological sites and local wineries. One of the best tours to take from Nafplio is a day trip to Mycenae, in Greek Mykines. Mykines is one of the most impressive archaeological sites in Greece. It was the residence and the burial place of one of the most prominent royal families, Agamemnon, Clytemnestra and the rest of them. This ancient city dates back to 2000 BC. Some of the best things to see here are the dramatic Acropolis which enjoys fantastic views of the surrounding countryside and of course the impressive tombs of Clytemnestra and Agamemnon.
This is the ancient theatre of Epidaurus, one of the oldest and best preserved ancient theatres. It was built in the 4th century BC and you can still watch a performance here if you visit between June and September. However, there is more to this archaeological site than just the theatre. In fact, the theatre is only one of many amazing ancient remains inside the sanctuary of Asclepius, among which the stadium stands out. What's really impressive is that some of those ancient monuments are partially restored to their original state. Near Nafplio, you can learn about the wine-producing traditions of Greece. Nemea is the largest wine-making region in the country. There are many wineries scattered across the area and we strongly advise you to visit at least one of them for a wine tasting. We've been to Nafplio countless times. After all those trips to Nafplio throughout the years, every time we go back feels like going back to a hometown of sorts, a place we know really well and hold close to our hearts. We hope this video inspires you to explore Nafplio and, who knows, maybe it will become your new favourite destination in Greece. If you enjoyed our video about Nafplio Greece, please like, comment and share it. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.